Hey everyone, it's Brittany at Big Cat Rescue here with another home tour for you and I'm excited about this one. It's gonna be for Pharaoh. Pharaoh is a leucistic serval, meaning he's white instead of the traditional tan and black with spots and stripes. Um, and that's caused through inbreeding. That is not something naturally occurring in nature. So that's something that a lot of people don't seem to understand. So we like to make that very clear. Um, hybrids like that, that are not naturally occurring in nature tend to have a lot of health issues. Lucky for us, he has lived to be 21 years old. So he is one of our older cats here. And what I'd like to do is just show you his entire enclosure. And I'll explain some of the features that you're gonna see that not all the cats get until they um, absolutely need it for their health reasons. So for instance, you've probably seen many feeding lockouts now if you've been following these home tours. This is Pharaoh's feeding lockout. You'll see that we have added a cinder block in there to raise his water bowl and his food dish. And then we have a tile over top of it to help prevent anything from flying into his water or messing with him while he's eating his food. So he still has a guillotine door that we can close if we ever needed to catch him in lockout. I'm gonna walk his entire enclosure so you get a full feel of all the space he has. He has this nice little tree stump den surrounded by ferns and he loves to hang out in this one right before breakfast. He's got some toys and a coolaroo. He has lots of natural foliage and real trees growing in the enclosures as well. He's got several bubbles. We call them bubbles. They're about 1,200 to 1,800 square feet for each one. And he's got many of them connected through doors and tunnels. This is one of his safety entrances. So our double door system so that there's always two layers to the outside for each cat. So you can see that there is a lock on the exterior door and then there's another one on the interior door and the other interior door. So if we ever had to go in, we would go in through the first door, lock it behind us, and then we could decide if we need to go this way or this way. The only reasons we would be going in an enclosure is for maintenance purposes, to do some raking and cleaning up, or if it was an emergency to catch a cat for the vet. And we can't do it in lockout for some reason. So here's our Pharaoh, <laughs> shining bright on top of his den. His fern dens are one of his absolute favorites. So you'll see that he has this nice ramp that goes all the way up. And then we have that uh, like non-slip stripping to help him grip as he comes up and down. So what he's laying on is a den. He can go inside of it or on top of it. You're also gonna see that he has an air conditioner over there. We wanna regulate his temperature the best that we can here in Florida. So he constantly has a cool breeze going. It's run by one of the hoses. He also really spends a lot of time laying in these ferns right here as well. So you're gonna see that he has a doorway right there that leads him into a tunnel system where he can walk himself all the way over here. So that used to be a water box that's off the side there, but we've put another cinder block in and raised his water. At this point in his age, it's more important that he reaches the water than if he pees in it or spills it. Um, that's why we raise the water to begin with is the younger cats will play in it, dump it out, or they'll pee in it, and we want them to have fresh water. So. Uh, the older they get though, we do always make those adjustments so that it's just a real simple, he can walk right by and grab a drink as he goes. So he has a hose here for that water bowl and you'll see there's some mesh wire between the hose and the inside of his enclosure so he can't play with it. My understanding was in his younger years, he really loved water and hoses. So <laughs> don't want him to destroy it. Here's another one of those safety entrances so that we can either go in that side with his cute little hut or this side with his awesome trees. 
He spends a lot of time in this front section before and after breakfast. He's kind of all over the place, which is amazing because at, at this age, he's very arthritic. So you can see again, another cinder block with his water bowl and then his water bowl box is empty. There's a hose that reaches that right over there. That hose actually does like six different water bowls. So we'll come on around the corner. I love this area. Anytime he's up in those trees, I always want to grab some photos. <laughs> so you can see that there's an open door there. Cute photo of Pharaoh. You can still see him glowing in the background. He wouldn't be able to survive in the wild being white like that. It's not a, a prominent color in nature, so there's no real camouflage for him. So he's got some palms. He has this awesome little tiki hut. He'll go in it or under it sometimes when it's raining. He's got some toys in there. Another palm. He's got another Kularoo. And yet another ramp with those stickies. <laughs> so that it, there's no slipping for him and another giant den. This is another one he'll spend a lot of time on. He loves being in all those ferns. Gonna go around the backside now. You can see that this den also has an opening on both sides. It's important when they're elderly like that and have some mobility issues to make sure you can get your eyes on them. So we always make sure that the dens have multiple viewing areas. He has another water bowl on this side. This is that same tunnel we just saw. Right back over to the den that he's on top of right now. Hi, sir. I see you. Let's keep going. Here's another way to view him from back here. Hi. He's like, it's not time for meds yet. <laughs> He's gonna stand up. All right, so around this side, you can see his air conditioner. Hi, sir. gonna show you how he uses his ramp. Very slow and steady. Let's see where he wants to go off to now. Whoa. 21 year old arthritic leucistic cat but he sure still gets where he wants to go. Isn't that right? Call them his old man zoomies. You can see he does still have a spot on him, like a traditional serval with the black and tan. So he's got lots of toys scattered throughout. There's a little door in between here where he can go from section to section. I'm so proud of you for showing us your home. Figured he'd be the last one to take us on a walk. So this area is prone to um, rain kind of flooding the pathway. The cages themselves are built up slightly so that water drains out of them. And then it's just us keepers that kind of have to trudge through. So we've all got those knee high rubber boots, but we have these stepping stones now, which keep your feet from getting fully submerged in the mud. <laughs> So that was Pharaoh's home tour. Hopefully this clears up some questions um, for people that are unfamiliar with how our cages are designed. Clearly he has much more space than if I were to just show you this shot right here, you might think that he's in something small. He's a man on a mission. 
Well, thank you guys so much for um, joining us with these home tours. You can watch them all at dailybigcat.com. There's a whole playlist there for them. You can see every single cat. And if you have additional questions about our cages, just go to bigcatrescue.org slash cages.